Hey, it's Lauren, and I'm back with another video. If you want to see how I got this neutral look, then please keep watching. First, I primed my lids with my concealer by MAC and NW20, and now I'm taking Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and applying that in my crease. And now I'm also taking Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, and I'm applying that right on top just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And now I'm taking Latte by Makeup Geek, and I'm putting that on the outer corner of my eye and blending it forward just to make sure I have lots of definition on the outer corner of my eye. And now I'm blending it out with that crease brush. And now I'm doing the same step with a darker color. I'm taking Mocha by Makeup Geek and I'm applying it to the outer corner. And then I'm going to tap my brush to make sure that there's no excess product on there. And then I'm just going to keep blending away. And then again, I apply it, I tap off my brush, and then I blend it in. And now I'm taking that same crease brush and I'm just gonna run it over the whole entire eye. And now I'm gonna take Peach Smoothie and anywhere where I see any jagged lines, I'm just gonna really focus Peach Smoothie there to blur everything out. And now I'm gonna take my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm taking the shade Rose on a flat brush with some Fix Plus and I'm going to apply that to the first half of my lid. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And now I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm taking the shade Marzipan. I'm just going to apply that on top of the first shade and it's really going to brighten it up. It's not necessary, but I think it adds something to the look. Now I'm going to fan my eyes so it dries, and now I'm going to take that same crease brush and just run it along the edges just to make sure it blends in seamlessly. And now I'm going to take a wipe, and I'm just going to wipe under my eyes to make sure that there's no fallout. And now I'm taking my Inglot Liner, number 77, and I'm just creating a nice thick wing. You can do as thin or as thick of a wing as you would like. And now I'm priming with Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Just add some moisture to my face. Now I'm taking my NYX Dark Circle Eraser and I'm applying that under my eyes just to help cancel out any of my dark circles. I don't think this did very much, so I wouldn't recommend it. I think it's a little bit unnecessary. And now I'm taking my Cover FX Foundation and my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and I'm going to apply it all over my face and buff it out with a buffing brush. I'll leave every product I've used in this video and the shades in the description box down below. And now I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown and I'm just doing my brows as I normally would and making sure I keep combing them out and blending away the product. That way they're not jaggedy or harsh. And now I'm going to take my Coco Lashes in the style Coco and apply them. For some reason, every time I apply these, I have a hard time with them, but they are really beautiful once you get them on. And now I'm taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer and I'm applying that under my eyes, on my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and on my forehead, just to even out the highlight. And I'm in shade R31. And I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to blend that out. And once I have that most of the way blended, I'm going to take my foundation brush and just go over the edges to make sure that everything is really blended and you can't see any harsh lines. 
And now I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes to set my concealer. I'm first going in to make sure there's no creases and then I'm just going to apply it just a little bit of powder just to set my eyes. And now I'm going to take my Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to take the banana and the vanilla shade and I'm going to apply that in all of the places I just put my concealer. And now I'm going to take that same translucent powder and I'm just going to apply it on my cheeks where I apply my bronzer just to make sure everything blends smoothly. And I'm taking my Kat Von D palette and I'm taking that middle contour shade and I'm just applying that all over my face as a bronzer. And now I'm taking my Becca blush in Songbird and it's really pigmented so I make sure to knock off all the excess product. And then I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. And now I'm going to take Becca's highlighter in Opal and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, my forehead, just everywhere to make sure that I'm nice and glowy. And now I'm just going to take a clean duo fiber brush and I'm just going to go over my blush, my bronzer, my highlight and just make sure that everything is blended in really smoothly. And now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Brow Plumper and I'm just going to apply that through my brows to make sure there's no powder in there and that they stay all day. And now I'm going to spritz my face with Fix Plus just to settle all the powders and give myself a nice dewy look. Now I'm going to go in with Barcelona Beach, also from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to apply that under my eyes, so it's just a really nice cool tone brown. And then I'm just going to go in with that same fluffy brush, and I'm just going to buff under my eyes to make sure it's really nice and blown out. And now I'm just taking a nude eyeliner, this one's from Jordana, and I'm just going to apply that on my waterline to really open up the eyes. And now I'm taking MAC Blanc Type, and I'm going to apply that under my brow bone to highlight. I'm going to take Max Shroom and I'm going to apply that in the inner corner just to really open up the eyes again. I'm wiping off my chapstick and then I'm going to make sure that my lips are all canceled out. I'm going to use Max Sore Lip Liner. I'm going to line my lips and fill in the outer edges. And now I'm going to go in with Max Angel Lipstick and I'm going to apply that. And then because I wanted it a little bit more nude and less pink, I'm going to go in with Max Myth and I'm going to apply that right on top to lighten up the overall color. And then I'm going to go back in with a lip liner and just blend it out. And then I'm going to take Max Lip Gloss in Fashion Whim and I'm going to apply that. And that will be it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.